Mates are hard to come by on the Sea of Thieves, but that's because it's each man for himself when matters concern coin. This, however, is a tale of camaraderie. A tale of two Welsh brothers facing the high seas together. This is the legend of Captain Di Jones. There's only one way to start this adventure. Oh, of course. Together now. We begin this tale like any other pirate tale. On the seas. My first mate Ethan had finally shown his face again from all the old days of sailing the seas together. He surely knew how to make an entrance. I had told Ethan of the treasures I had acquired at the Skull Fort. And as luck would have it, the mysterious skull-shaped cloud had reappeared once again. Typical of pirate nature, we weren't the only ones there, as two ships were already duking it out at the fort. Oh, one of them's going down, I think. <laughs> they fought it out amongst themselves. And it's quite funny, it's the one that wasn't originally that's gone. Well, let's get on it then, mate. For some reason, the ship that had won the battle decided to sail away. Ah, they must have known Di Jones and Ethan were coming. We started slaying the skeleton hordes when another ship approached with only malice in its eyes. I swam out to it as fast as I could and confronted the scallywags who dared to damage my precious sloop. Ah, but for more, eh? Ah. Come on. No need to run. Pull out your sword. Ah. Ah, Got shots again. Silly. Ah, ah, ah. You. Show me your sword. Fight me like a real pirate would. <laughs> Too slow. One final. <laughs> you try to take my ship? <laughs> no, this can't be the end. Was it really the end? I awoke in a ghostly looking domain. The wind gave me a shiver as I looked up at the helm to see a figure hovering near it. And who might you be? I am Davy Jones. Hang on, you can't be Di Jones. I'm Captain Di Jones, mate. I am more than you. I am the sea. I am the sails. I am the wind. And I am the one that is destined to fail. Well, what's that got to do with me, then? Go now, young pirate. You have many tales to tell. Farewell then, Die Jones. I opened my eyes to see land and sea once yeah, again, yeah, sure, sure. and was happy to see that Ethan had also been paid a visit by Davy Jones. We set off once more for the Skullfort to fight the bastards who tried to claim our treasure. The battle lasted for hours, with another ship showing up to make things more interesting, but we stood our ground in our sloop regardless. We managed to take down one of the bastards, but the men who killed us before were persistent, so I tried a passive approach. Hello, lads. I'm sick of the fighting. Please, I just, I just want to, uh, I just want us both to benefit from the treasure, you know? Like, come on now, boys. Come on. Whoa, no, whoa, lads. Whoa, lads, come on. No, no need to shoot. No need to shoot. Come on now, boys. Come on now, boys. Oh, no, no. Oh. God damn it, again. All right, Di, how's it going again? Aye, all right. Aye, sounds good, right? See you later, but It didn't work, so I had a more idiotic plan. 
Luckily, I appeared back on the ship, and to my surprise, Ethan had managed to use me as a distraction to plunder the loot right from under their noses. <laughs> the devious scallywag. That's a first, mate. You know, there's a reason why people call me risky. It's because I do shit like that and it pays off. We sailed as fast as we could to my favourite outpost, Golden Sands, to cash in our booty. And we decided some grog was in order at my favourite tavern, the Captain's Head. Bloody hell, man, you drunk that one fast. Ah, I feel so good. Okay, I earned, I've earned another one. Tina kept pouring and we kept drinking, even attempting some drunken performances that sounded like shite. Ethan, with his newfound wealth, decided to buy himself a new concertina to celebrate his victory. That talented musician and a damn good first mate. He played us out to the sunset and more grog was calling. <laughs> it's good to have crew.